All right, we're up here in this 2013 GMC Sierra thing. Yeah, 1500, I think it is. We got low oil pressure light, and um, yeah, we think it's the sensor back here with a little screen underneath it gets clogged up. We're going to try to get on it, so y'all can watch me tear it apart and see what happens. Like me, you can get in here and work on this thing. Well, I can't just break these clips off because the customer's here waiting on it. So, you know, <laughs> we go two little clips there a little clip there ain't it bad now we still can't see it so that's always a plus we're gonna have to break that here hold that got my hand on it don't want to see it can you see it down in there there she is mm, she won't focus on me she better somewhere. Here, we're gonna get it out and show it to you. How about that? Well, I feel like I'm making progress. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. She's tight. Can't get my finger on it. There we go. There's the clip. We got her unplugged. What are you shaking your head about? Yeah, guys, I'm just going to go on and tell y'all, this thing's tough to get to. Yeah, because I'm little. Little hands. I'm up in here in the engine compartment, and it's tough. So, yeah, if you're thinking about doing this yourself, just don't do it. Just carry it to somebody. <laughs> go on, Crispin Garage. We get in there and get it. See, see, she's working with me now. There you go. Sometimes you just got to talk to her. You know, you got to call it out. Yeah. Come on. Come on out of there. I know you want to come out of there. She's coming. She's coming. She's working. Yeah. I left the socket in there on purpose. Okay. Well, maybe she ain't ready to come out just yet. Where'd my boys go? They gone. They deserve to be. Okay. Okay, is that what you're working with? Let's put the big boy back on there one time. 95 is stopped. Yeah, been on that. You know why 95 stopped? Because the Lord knew I was shooting a video and he said, let me quiet it down for Mr. Chet so he can shoot this video. That's what it was. I thought it had something to do with Biden healthcare, but whatever. <laughs> We're working with it now though. The extension was fighting against me because you know the socket's kind of a wobble socket. And then we put the wobble extension in there. She was um too wobbly. It was slipping, I think. I was moving it and I was like, it's moving, but it didn't feel like it was moving. See, now, oh yeah, I feel like I'm working with something now. This is like some pipe dope wrapped around it there. You wanna try some? <laughs> you ain't gonna try none. <laughs> Tell that lie. I need that pick now so I can pick that pick. You gotta be right. careful with that Yeah, I'm gonna try not to. I'm working with it. I would put the camera in here so y'all can see this, but there's not enough room to see this. I'm just gonna show it to you after I get it out. The best friends call me. 
Ain't gonna recognize. It's really not dirty. Like some people say it is. Look at that one. That one looks clean, don't it? Oh no. That one I took out the other day was gunked up. That one's not dirty. When I say gunked up, I mean gunked up. That thing's not dirty at all. Well, that's not cool if it's not dirty. I was expecting it to be nasty. Well, let's put dog one in there. It looks right to me. It's even got the new Teflon tape on it and everything. Well, I can't. I already can't feel my feet. So if I step down right now, I'm probably just gonna fall over. Look at your foot down in there. Yeah, that's the tool you need right there. There it is. It's like a sensor tool. See that? That's pretty slick, isn't it? That's what you gotta have. Shining over there for everybody to see 95 stop. Look at that. Cold in his tracks. Well, I was sure hoping to see that filter clogged up. But it's not. Come on, baby. There you go. Can you see that? Yes, sir. And my head in the way. There it is right there. All it does is plug right back on there. There it went. Here it clicked. That was it. Let's cover it back on. to see this thing clogged up but i mean it's clean as a whistle but it does concern me that that o-ring was pinched up from the factory because i mean it's obviously nobody's had it out i mean truck oh nobody's ever had that out before all right guys it's like this we've been working on this truck we changed the oil pressure switch back there behind the intake i showed you all that she was aggravated to get to. Changed on that. We pulled this filter out. She wasn't even dirty. Put a new one back in there, but didn't make any difference. The oil pressure gauge wasn't moving, it was like zero. You turn the key on, it wouldn't even move. Well, we back there fiddling with it, messing around with it. She just all of a sudden started working. So what I'm trying to say is, sometimes cars just make you feel really stupid. Which, I know I'm pretty stupid anyhow, but sometimes they make you feel more stupid than you actually are. So with that being said, if she's giving trouble, she may be going to bed, or she may not be going to bed. Odds are she's going. Or if she's give out, she might have already went to the bank. But if she's not giving trouble, she still might be going to the bank. So it's just, my mind's all twisted up like a pretzel. 